Hello and welcome everyone to our another episode of CDS Views. So till now we have seen how to create a CDS view based on the input parameter given by the user. Now in this part we will see how to perform aggregate functions. So aggregate functions functions in the aggregate functions in the CDS views. Okay. We are going to see how to perform the aggregate functions inside the CDS views. Okay. All right. Let's give a proper. So aggregate functions in the CDS views, right? Now, what is aggregate function and what do we mean by aggregate functions? So aggregate functions, aggregate functions are mathematical operations. They are just the mathematical operations. And what they do is that calculates, calculates a single value from a group of rows within a database table. So what they do is that calculates a single value from a group of rows within a database table and summarizing, summarizing, summarizing summarizing data like sums, averages, minimums, maximums or counts. Minimums, maximum or counts. So aggregate functions are mathematical operations that calculates a single value from a group of rows within a database table and what they calculate is they calculate sums average minimum maximum or counts now in case of our cds view so in cds view it is it is mandatory to use group by clause group by clause to group data before performing the calculations before performing the calculations so whenever you will go for any aggregate function it is mandatory in case of cds view to use the group by clause to uh, while performing the calculations or while going for any of the calculations now what are the various aggregate functions that we have so various aggregate functions that we have so the aggregate functions are sum sum is there to perform the sum then average is there to find out the average right then we have minimum to find out the minimum value maximum to find out the maximum value and count to count the number of values so these are the main five aggregate functions that we have which we use according to the various kind of requirement now i will simply take one requirement here and i will create the accordingly cds view for that so requirement requirement okay i will take one requirement here my requirement is i will use so we will use flight schedule table we are going to simply use the flight uh, flight schedule table spfli this is our flight schedule table to create a cds view and we will calculate the value of aggregate functions so calculate the value of aggregate functions using our CDS views. Okay. So we will create our CDS view using this table SPFLI. So if I go and simply try to open this table, 
let's go and open it so I will go and open it I will go to SC11 and I will open my table SPFLI okay let's go and display it so content and execute now in this particular table what I can see is we have got here lots of columns airplane code airline code flight connection number country key departure city from so country to airport to we also have an integral value flight time so on this integer we are going to simply apply all our aggregate functions okay I will use this particular table to create my CDS view so I will go to simply Eclipse inside our ABAP project and I will go for right click here and I will create new data definition so ZAR this time CDS view 3 and I will give here aggregate functions in CDS okay go for next button select your transport request and go for next now again I will select the normal define view and I will go for finish button again I will give one DDIC view name so just keep copy our previous DDIC view and we will give the next one for this time 03 okay and we will select our data source name so our data source is our transparent table so just pass it here okay pass it here once it is ready we will simply use the fields here so I will use my key fields what is my key field my key field is character ID so character ID C A W R R I D, airline code okay so I will use alias as airline code then I will go for another column I will use my reason key or country key here so as country key okay then I will go for my flight time which is integer value so flight time I'll go for this flight time it is int 4 so flight time as flight time okay this is my normal CDS view where I am fetching three columns I will simply activate I will activate my view and I will go and check the output yeah, activated right click and go and check it so open with data preview okay we are simply displaying all our data same thing we can directly display from this content and execute tab also same thing everything is getting displayed right so this is normal CDS view where we are displaying our flight details and oh, not this one we are displaying our flight details easily from here right now we will use our aggregate function okay I will use my aggregate function sum so here I will apply my aggregate fun function sum sum and I will give here alias as sum of flight time sum of flight time okay I will use this and now you can clearly see here by default the Eclipse is saying that there is some problem in your logic the group by clause is missing same thing that I have written here also in case of our CDS views it is mandatory to use the group by clause okay so we will simply use our group by clause so group by group by clause and we will pass our column so airline code airline code and country 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 key okay we have passed our group by now I will simply activate and let's see this sum how it is getting displayed activated let's go and check it so open with data preview yeah these are the common 
here airline codes that we have so if you go and check your value inside the table also we have got airline code aa as two times right and if i simply sum uh, if i will simply add these values how much value it will be uh, it should be around 40 and 40 and 40,920 40, around that let's go and check yeah 40,920 so two values are there for airline code for AA right so this sum is definitely correct similarly if I go for the next thing which is AC we have only one value so direct AC value 28,800 is there yeah 28,800 is there for AC then similarly for LH, how many values are there for LH? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You can see here lots of values are there for LH. Then we have DL, two values are there for DL also, right? So lots of things are there, okay? So it's perfect. Now I will go for other aggregate functions. So let's go and check the other aggregate function here also okay I will go for other aggregate functions so after sum let's go for other aggregate function I'll go for max max as FL time I'll give alias uh, maximum flight time okay of a particular group then I will go for minimum so minimum flight time as minimum flight time of the particular group so flight time okay then I will go for let's say average so average average flight time as average average flight time okay let's try this I will activate it okay I will activate it and I will go and check let's see yeah activated I will open it so open with data preview all right so some was already there now maximum so let's go and check our output for AA what is the maximum value 21,660 21,660 what is the minimum value for our AA 19,260 so 19,260 right and the average right you can see here the sum the half value is the average here 20,460 will be half definitely so 20,460 here you can see 10 to power 4 is already there so this will become our average time we can also use our count value here so count I can use count uh, distinct distinct flight time as count flight time okay let's check this count also let's activate it and let's go and check how many distinct values are there for our each flight details so I'll go for open with data preview oh, let's activate it activate it now I'll go open with data preview yeah right count value let's check its value so for LH different values are 6 for AF we have 2 for A sorry 1 for A we have 2 right you can go and check for A we have 2 for AC we have 1 AF we have 1 so same thing we can also see from here uh, AC value is also 1 AF value is here we have 1 and A value is 2 so all these are performing the calculate operations uh, sorry count operation very effectively we have average we have our minimum value we have our maximum value we have our sum value right based on the country key and airline code okay 
if you want we can also have our having clause let's say uh, i i only want to uh, let's say i only want to display the value who is greater than 40000 okay so i can use here having clause also easily i can use here having clause so having uh, sum of let's say flight time is greater than 40000 okay and this annotation i don't need it let's activate it yeah object activated now i will simply go and check our value so open with data preview open with data preview you can see here the sum of flight time has been reduced and only values those who are greater than 40,000 are getting displayed. Only those values are getting displayed. Okay. So this is how we can easily perform the aggregate functions using our CDS views. But for aggregate function group by clause is mandatory. Okay. So this is all about aggregate function in the CDS views. Thank you very much for watching. We will continue from next part.